Hey, how's it going, Kyle Scholars? I hope your day is going well. My name is Kieran Truss, and I'm here with another how-to video for you. In today's how-to video, I'm going to show you how to configure Azure AD Connect Health email notifications. Now, these notifications are there for you, so if anything were to happen to your on-premise um, AD Connect server, uh, you would get notified about that. Uh, this is a server that's speaking back to Azure. Um, and doing the syncs. So it's definitely needed to be running at all times. And if it were to shut down or some issue, you can go into the health area and see what's going on in terms of sync issues and things of that nature. So here we are at the Azure portal. I'm gonna to go to Azure Active Directory. Within Azure Active Directory, next thing I'm gonna do is go to Azure AD Connect. Over here, Azure AD Connect is where we would drop down and we would come over to MAM Health and Analytics, Azure AD Connect Health. And here in this window, you can see a bunch of different options for you. You have the sync errors, uh, sync services, and things like that. So if we were to click on sync errors. Right now, I do not have my on-premises running, so that's why you're seeing this information is blank. Uh, but uh, that's neither here nor there. I can still show you exactly where you need to get the notifications. So right up here, uh, you have an option to export, but right up here is the notification settings. And this is where it will say, hey, use notification to get notified when there are new alerts. And right now mine is on. And what it will do is anybody who is a global administrator is going to get an email saying, hey, um, your, um, your on-premise uh, Azure AD Connect is having some issues. And then also you can add some additional um, resources, some other uh, recipients that can uh, receive those notifications as well. So that's it, um, folks. That is it. This is the quick how-to video. I hope you found this content um, to be useful. Uh, if you came to this page, you're probably running into an issue. You're not getting any notifications. So I like to keep this one short and sweet. Uh, please, if you have not done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. I have tons of other videos for you engineers and architects that are looking up how to configure certain settings, I have them in videos. So once again, I wanna thank you for taking the time watching this video here at Cloud Scholars. My goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.